is Peggy Moody reading De Ta Baby from the Uncle Remus stories. One day, Br'er Fox and Br'er Br'er was sitting around in the woods talking about the way Br'er Rabbit was always cutting up capers and acting so fresh. Br'er Rabbit's getting too sassy, say Br'er Fox. Br'er Rabbit's getting too bossy, say Br'er Br'er. Br'er Rabbit don't mind his own business, say Br'er Fox. Br'er Rabbit talk too biggity, say Br'er Br'er. I don't like the way Br'er Rabbit go prancing lippity-clippity down the road, says Br'er Br'er. Someday I'm going to fetch that Br'er Rabbit and pull out his mustaches. Primp! Prop! says Br'er Fox. Someday I'm going to catch Br'er Rabbit and knock his head clean off. Blim blam, say Br'er Br'er. Right then, Br'er Fox got a powerful big idea. I'm going to catch Br'er Rabbit now, he say. Well, sir, Br'er Fox went straight to work. First he got some tar. Then he makes it into a shape, sort of like a baby, with arms and legs and a stomach and a head. Now, he say, we got to make this tar baby look real. With that, he pull out some hairs, plip, plop right out of Br'er Bear's back and stick him onto the tar baby's head. He snatch off Br'er Bear's green hat and his own yellow coat and put them on the tar baby. Come now, Br'er Bear, he say, help me carry this tar baby for the big road where Br'er Rabbit's sure to come hopping along. They took the tar baby and they set him down under a tree at the side of the road, sort of like he might have been resting. Then Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear lay down in the bushes to wait for Br'er Rabbit. They didn't have long to wait. Pretty soon they hear a whistling and a humming and along come Br'er Rabbit prancing lippity clippity, sassy as a mockingbird. All at once he spied a tar baby. Howdy, sing out Br'er Rabbit. The tar baby, he say nothing. And Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they lay low in the bushes and they say nothing. Br'er Rabbit wait for the tar baby to answer. Then he say, louder than before, what's the matter with you? I said, howdy do. Is you diff? If you is, I can holler louder. The tar baby, he say nothing, and Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they lay low. Then Br'er Rabbit holler at the tar baby loud as he can. Where's your politeness? Ain't you gonna say howdy like respectable folks say when they meet up on the road? The tar baby, he say nothing, and Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they lay low. Now Br'er Rabbit's sort of mad. He clinch his fist and he walk right up close to the tar baby. If you don't say howdy by the time I count three, I'm going to blip you into those. Br'er Rabbit start counting. One, two. But the tar baby, he say nothing. And Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they just wink their eyes and grin. Three yell Br'er Rabbit. Now he mighty mad. He draw back his fist and blip. He hit the tar baby smack in the nose. But Br'er Rabbit's fist stuck there in the tar. He can't pull it loose. Now Br'er Rabbit terrible mad. Let go my fist, he holler. With that he draw back his other fist and blip again to hit the tar baby smack in the nose. But this fist stuck there in the tar too. He can't pull it loose. The tar baby, he say nothing. And Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they sort of chuckle in their stomachs. If you don't let go my fists, holler Br'er Rabbit, I'm going to kick your teeth right out of your mouth. Well, sir, Br'er Rabbit kicked. First he pulled back one foot and pow, he hit the tar baby in the jaw. The tar baby's behind foot stuck there in the tar. Then, pow, he hit the tar baby with the other behind foot. This folks foot stuck there in the tar too. If you don't let go my behind foot, squall out Br'er Rabbit, I'm going to butt you with my head till you ain't got no breath left in your body. 
Br'er Rabbit butted, but his head stuck there in the tar. Now Br'er Rabbit's two fists, his two behind foots, and his head were all stuck in the tar baby. He push and he pull, but the more he tried to get unstuck up, the stucker up he got. Soon Br'er Rabbit is so stuck up he can't scarcely move his eyeballs. Now Br'er Fox and Br'er Gare come out of the bushes and they feel mighty good. They dance around and round Br'er Rabbit laughing and hollering fit to kill. We sure catch you this time, Br'er Rabbit, says Br'er Bear. You better say your prayers, Br'er Rabbit, say Br'er Fox, cause this is the very last day of your life. <sighs> Br'er Rabbit, he shiver and tremble, cause he was in a mighty bad fix and he was mighty scared. But right then he set his mind to work on, on how to get himself out of that fix real quick. Br'er Rabbit, says Br'er Bear, you've been bouncing around this neighborhood bossing everybody for a long time. Now, I'm the boss, and I'm going to knock your head clean off. No, says Br'er Fox. That's too easy and too quick. we got to make him suffer. Br'er Rabbit, he say, you've been sassing me, sticking your head into my business for years and years. Now I got you. I'm going to fix up a great big fire. Then when it's good and hot, I'm going to drop you in the roast you right here this very day. Now Br'er Rabbit ain't really scared anymore because he got an idea how he's going to get loose. But he talked like he's the most scared rabbit in all the world. I don't care what you do with me, he say, pretending to shake and quake all over. Just so you don't fling me over these bushes into that briar patch. Roast me just as hot as you please, but don't fling me in that briar patch. Hold on a minute, says Br'er Bear, tapping Br'er Fox on the shoulder. It's going to be a lot of trouble to roast Br'er Rabbit. First we have to fetch a big pile of kindling wood. Br'er Fox scratches it. That's so. Well then, Br'er Rabbit, I'm going to hang you. Hang me, just as high as you please, say Br'er Rabbit. But please, don't fling me in that briar patch. It's going to be a lot of trouble to hang Br'er Rabbit, says Br'er Bear. First we have to fetch a big long rope. That's so, say Br'er Fox. Well then, Br'er Rabbit, I'm going to drown you. Drown me, just as deep as you please, say Br'er Rabbit. But please, please don't fling me into that briar patch. It's going to be a lot of trouble to drown Br'er Rabbit, say Br'er Bear. First we have to carry him way down to the river. That's so, say Br'er Fox. Well, Br'er Rabbit, I expect the best way is to skin you. Come on, Br'er Bear, let's get started. Skin me, says Br'er Rabbit. Pull out my ears, snatch off my legs, and chop off my tail. But please, 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 Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, don't fling me in that briar patch. Br'er Bear sort of grumble. Wait a minute, Br'er Fox. It ain't going to be much fun to skin Br'er Rabbit because he ain't scared of being skinned. But he sure is scared of being thrown in that briar patch, say Br'er Fox. And that's just where he's going to go. This is the end of Br'er Rabbit. With that, he yanked Br'er Rabbit off the tar baby and he fling him kerblam right into the middle of the briar patch. Well, sir, there was a considerable flutter in the place where Br'er Rabbit struck those briar bushes. Oh, ow, ouch, he yell. He screech and he squall. The ruckus and the hullabaloo was awful. Then, by and by, the ooh and the aw ah and the ouch came only in a weak, tired whisper, like Br'er Rabbit really going to die. Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they listen and grin. Then they shake hands and they slap each other on the back. Br'er Rabbit ain't going to be sassy no more. Br'er Rabbit ain't going to be bossy no more. Br'er Rabbit ain't going to do nothing no more. This is the end. Br'er Rabbit is dead. But right then, Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear hear a scuffling among the leaves, way at the other end of the briar patch. A 
then lo and behold, who do they see scramble them out from under the bushes, frisky as a cricket? The Br'er Rabbit himself. Br'er Rabbit, whistling and singing and combing the last bit of tar out of his mustaches with a piece of the briar bush. Howdy, Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, he holler. I told you and I told you not to fling me in that briar patch. That's the place in all this world I love the very best. That briar patch is the place where I was born. With that he prance away, lippity, lippity, laughing and laughing till he can laugh no more.